Hello again and welcome to the third part of the Katir V5 basic series. Uh, in this video I will take a closer look at the auto-constraint function in the sketcher. So let's make a sketch. Hide as always the projected axis and origin. And now what I want to show is the following. I will try to make a line which starts on the y-axis. Please note, there's some sort of auto-catch, auto-snap on this axis. At least it seems so. And you can inspect the constraint here or in the tree in the sketch. Make a double-click click on more and you will see the two elements which are connected. First one is the start point of the line and the second one is, take a close look, the H direction. I hit the H direction to make sure that I couldn't catch it by accident, but this doesn't work. So let's delete this coincidence. Now I try it manually. Go to constraint, select the point and select, at least it seems so, the y-axis. Make it coincident, check again, and you will see now I connected as before the starting point of the line and the program made some sort of intersection between the x, y plane and the sketch plane. So, wrong again. Delete it. So if you want to really make sure that you got the axis and the point, do it like this. Select the point and select the letter of the axis, like this. Make it coincident and now take a closer look. More you will see now it made a projection of the y-axis to the sketch plane. That's it. I would advise you to do all the constraints by yourself. Especially don't try to catch the origin. Yeah. Because it happens many times I cannot force it that you can catch the origin, but you see these two coincidences. It happens very often that the program makes these two constraints, but doesn't show it in the sketch nor in the tree. So. If you want to make your sketch either constrained or fully constrained, you may get problems because there are some constraints which are not shown but which still exist. A constraint which is not shown cannot be selected and therefore cannot be deleted. So that is very, very annoying. This happens sometimes more often sometimes less often, seems it depends on the release of the program and the service pack. So that's it for today and remember I'll be back.